ProtonDB has always been a great site for working out how to get various games working under Proton, or if it's even possible to do so. But it's also been a great resource to see the state of Linux gaming, see what games are supported, what games aren't supported, the ratio of the categories they fit into. But when the Steam Deck released, they took all of this useful information and then got rid of it, replaced it with a couple of numbers, and that's basically all you had. This bothered me for a bit, but in the past couple of days, they have fixed this and in some ways actually made it a bit better. And it's not just a redesign of the layout, but I will say I do like the pie graph. I feel like it looks pretty cool and I like the way it looks over here as well. It's just a good new layout, but also the introduction of a new way of categorizing the data. So now not just the metal system, but also the click play system or the tier system or whatever you want to call it. And you can easily cycle through this data by using the arrows we see here. So for the library section on the left hand side and then the categorization section on the right hand side. Now the data you see on the right hand side is based on the data that's currently displayed on the left hand side. So right now we have the Steam catalog or the entire Steam catalog that has a rating or a review on ProtonDB, and 9% of that has a Platinum rating. But if I go over to the next one, which is Popular Games, now we're at 21%. Basically, it's a really easy way to mix and match the data to see what the categorizations are for different subsets of Steam. And if you want a better view of this data, we can go over to the Dashboard section and have an entire page dedicated to it. But before we get into that, if you want to support the channel and perhaps you need a server, be sure to go check out brodyrobinson.xyz slash Linode, linked on screen and in the description down below. When you sign up, add your details and all of that fun stuff, you'll be given $100 free credit. And being completely honest, I have been using Linode way before they knew I existed, and I think they run a great service. And now enjoy the rest of the video. Now, I was a big fan of the original metal ranking system. So when a game is reviewed by people on ProtonDB, they will assign a ranking based on how playable they can get it. That was going to be either platinum, gold, silver, bronze, or balked. With platinum being the best, this is a game that runs absolutely perfectly, and then balked being no matter what you do, that game is not going to work. Or maybe some core functionality isn't going to function. Let's say it's a game that is primarily a multiplayer game. If the multiplayer doesn't work, it may just be rated as balked. It's not a perfect system. There are weird edge cases. Let's say a game like the Halo Master Chief Collection. The multiplayer is big and the single player is big. So is that game balked because the multiplayer doesn't work or is it a gold rating because you can play through all of the single player perfectly fine? Well, right now I think it does have a gold rating, so that's the way it's sort of lent. But if it's a game that basically just has a single player that's there for doing training, maybe it would be a bit different. Now these rankings aren't based or really shouldn't be on how the game plays out of the box. There's a lot of games out there, one of those being, say, Borderlands pre-sequel, which when you first install it, literally does not turn on because for whatever reason, the application binary has the wrong name and it just won't work. I don't know why, but it's balked. But if you go and change that name, then it goes up to a gold rating. And this is great for Linux gamers who are willing to do that tweaking and want to try to get a game to work. But it's not great for people who are buying, say, a Steam Deck or maybe new Linux users who don't really know the sort of tweaking you can do. So that's where the new system comes in, the click play system. So now we have a 1 to 5 system with tier 1 being ubiquitously positive reports, tier 2 being some reports are trouble but is mostly good, tier 3 being a mix of positive and negative, tier 4 being negative reports overall, and then tier 5 the game is busted, which might sound incredibly similar to the metal system. Anything in tier one or tier two or platinum or gold is basically perfect under that. Maybe it has some problems under that again, a bit more problems and the bottom, well, you're not playing that game. The difference here though, is in the click play system, this is out of box playability. 
And besides maybe changing the version of Proton, this is the way that most people with a background in console or Windows gaming are going to approach gaming on devices like the Steam Deck or just gaming on Linux in general. You want your games to just work, and if they don't, well, maybe you'll move on to something else. Now, if you can do basic addition, you might notice the data doesn't add up to 100%. There is a reason for that. So, firstly, things that don't have any reviews on ProtonDB are not included in this data. I would like to see a bottom category that says how many are included in that, but the other reason why things are missing is because the current system is still a work in progress. So the data is fairly conservative and is underreporting, especially things in the tier 5 category. This will be improved with time as more data continues to come in and the algorithm better smooths out the data to fit into these categories. Do keep in mind that ProtonDB isn't perfect. So everything is based on user reporting. That isn't going to be changing and probably will never change any point in the future. But games can easily be placed into the wrong categories with poor reporting. And I don't mean during review bombing because you just want people to think a game doesn't work. I mean less popular games can be skewed by a couple of people having a bad experience. I think the tier system is a much better representation of the way that people approach games, I just don't like the way the tiers are named. I did prefer having Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze and Borked, and it does fit perfectly into these as well. The reason why they changed that basically is to have a new image for the way the ranking is being done and making it very clear that these things are separate. If you're using the same naming scheme, then it would be very, very easy to start getting them confused. Now, when I'm talking about this new ranking system, from what I know and from what we've been told, I don't think the old medal system is being removed. This is just another way to represent the data that might be more useful for certain users. And if we go to any game pages right now, right now you actually don't see the tier system, you only see the medal system. I expect in the future you're going to see both of these unless the medals get replaced. There is one big problem I have with the new layout, but not with the data itself. That's the fact that on the old layout, it showed you which games were in which category. So we had Counter-Strike Go as a native game. Right at the top, we had Dota 2. We had PUBG as a Bork game and so on and so forth. But here, we can go and hover over any of these sections, but clicking on them doesn't take you to a list of what games are in that section. I think that would be a really awesome change, especially with my personal library. So I could go and click on something like the games that are currently rated as Platinum, and it would show me maybe down here all of the games that have a Platinum rating. On that note, you've probably noticed that native games are no longer being shown in this list. It's not the native has been removed from the site. If we go to a game that has a native rating, say like Dead Cells, for example, that is still a thing here. But for whatever reason, it's just not being shown here. I think that's actually an improvement. I kind of would prefer if they have the native as being an extra tag, not a specific rating. Because there is a lot of games out there which are a native game, but then do not work. And you actually want to play it through Proton, but you don't know what the rating inside of Proton is actually going to be. Now this dashboard does include Steam Deck verified games, which I think is a great inclusion. But when it comes to the click play and the metal system, all of the data here is based on general Linux gaming, not based on the Steam Deck. So Steam Deck reporting is supported on ProtonDB, I think back when the Steam Deck first came out actually. Right now there's just not that much data. When there is though, it's going to be kept in its own separate category. This is because even though you can install whatever you want on it, the Steam Deck is a locked down bit of hardware. And it's much, much easier to get games working well on it. For example, Elden Ring, which ships with shader pre-caching. So there might be games out there which play really nicely on the Steam Deck and not so great on general Linux. Or maybe the flip side, they play great on general Linux, but then not on the Steam Deck. As for me, I don't really care if we're using the metal system or the click play system. Either way, I'm going to do a bit of tinkering if a game isn't playing, you know, exactly like it should. I'll try out different versions, I'll try out launch options, I'll try out Proton GE, and I'll try to get the game working as well as I can get it working. So as long as the reporting system is there and I can see what other people are trying, 
I don't really care how you rank them. I know you can do those breakdowns under explore, but having it on the homepage was really nice to see. But anyway, let me know what you think of these changes in the comment section down below. Did you like the old way Proton DB was doing it? Do you like the new way? Or did you like it when there was nothing useful on the site whatsoever? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Barrow Pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out. <laughs>